Hello Anonymous and welcome to the third tutorial unit. In this unit we will show you how to combine the material you have downloaded in the second tutorial unit into an anonymous propaganda video for the internet. Start Movie Maker and begin a new project. Import all the files you have downloaded and wish to use in your video. But before we start fitting the pieces together, you should have a rough plan on how your video should look like when it is finished. For example, you could make a music video in which the music and the pictures fitting the mood of the music are timed on each other. Or you could make a trailer for a future operation in which you outline the objectives and the data. There are many other types of videos you can make, but for this tutorial unit we will create a motivational trailer for the Legion of the Internet. First drag the audio file onto the audio music track. We want to let this song run through the entire video. To make this more appealing to the viewer, the pictures will mostly be timed to the music but not as strict as in a music video. Also, set the audio balance to audio music so the sound of the video clip will be left out. Now we want to start our video with a nice intro. Drag the movie clip onto the timeline. Now press play and then stop when the intro is over and the text blends in. You can correct the current position with the frame forward or frame backward button. As we wish to insert our own text, cut off the rest of the video by clicking the appropriate icon. Delete the second half of the clip. To achieve a nicer transition and more time to write our text onto, drag the anonymous flag onto the timeline. Now grab the image on the timeline and drag it back into the video clip. Notice how a blue triangle appears when the two overlap. This shows you the transition of the two clips. As the image of the flag is now a bit too short, click on it and point the cursor on top of the right edge and when the icon appears, click and drag the image to the length you wish. Add our introduction text by clicking on Tools and selecting Titles and Credits. Type in the text and then choose an animation you deem appropriate and set the colors fitting to the image. Always make sure that the text is readable. Some colors and background images don't go well together and make reading harder for the viewer. To blend out our introduction nicely, Create a black JPEG in a graphic program, for example paint.net, in the same size as the video and after importing it, drag it onto the timeline and let it fade into the image of the flag. Now we wish to achieve an effect as in old movies, for we will recap the beginning of Chanology in a very short form. Drag the black JPEG onto the timeline again and apply a fitting video effect on it. Add some text as we have done before and choose a fitting font. Now add some pictures, dragging fitting effects onto them and let them blend into each other. Always have in mind that timing images and text to the music makes it more appealing to view. After filling the timeline some more, we will continue and tell something about the current status of Operation Chanology. For this, we will insert one of the downloaded video clips which has a technological and futuristic touch to it. This corresponds well with the old movie look we've just used. As you can see, this clip has high contrast. This will make it hard to add a text on top and still keep it readable. With a little trick this can be fixed. Create a white JPEG as you've done before in black. 
drag it onto the timeline and blend it in. As the video is now brighter, you can add a dark color text to it. Drag our second clip onto the timeline and let it blend in. As the clip is a loop, drag some more onto the timeline. Now add some text, for example, web addresses you wish the viewer to visit. As the music is now fading out, let the video also fade out slowly. Keep in mind that it seems more balanced if the video fades out a bit earlier than the music. Congratulations! You have completed part 3 of our propaganda video editing tutorial. Now, save your project as a movie and let us view it.